Oh, you're, I think you'll, you're gonna miss it. You're not gonna grab the slider. Oh God, it's so windy. What's up, Light Bright Nation? Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to Sedona, Arizona. Now, since it's been quite a minute since we've been with our Jeeps, we figured we'd take the moment to go ahead and introduce ourselves for those of you who might be new to the channel. So I'm Brittany Williams. And I'm Kevin. And this is Jelly Belly. This is our little puppy, Jelly. And we basically travel the nation doing rad car stuff with rad car friends. And today, we are in Sedona, Arizona with the foster child, AKA our Jeep Gladiator that we will be giving away in October. But before we hit the trailhead, we have to air down. So I want to take a moment to answer a couple questions that we get all the time on the channel. First off, airing down. Airing down can be done a ton of ways. The way we do it is with JT Brooks Pros. No, they're not a sponsor. This is just something that we bought that we really like. The Pro actually has numbers on the device so you know exactly where you're gonna be airing down to. So you unscrew this guy here. See those numbers right there? That's your PSI. The only thing to keep in mind is that when you set your PSI is on your elevation. Depending on your elevation will depend on what the actual final pressure is. Now, people also ask, hey, what should I air down to? Well, that's gonna depend on your terrain and what kind of tires you have. Generally on an easy to mild trail, I'll only go down to like 20, especially if you're gonna be doing multiple trails. If you're gonna do a trail, get back on the highway and go do another trail, I leave them at like 20 or so. There's no reason to go super low. And when you get into more technical stuff, soft sand, snow, that's when I get down into the single digits, nine, 10 PSI, uh, if you have bead locks. If you have bead locks. All right, so that's very important. You pretty much don't wanna go below 12 to 13 PSI without bead locks. You could pop a bead. Now, with that being said, I think it is past time to finally hit a trail again. Oh, and don't forget to disconnect your sway bar. Kevin, what are you doing with that big rock? Passion. <laughs> so this isn't a Rubicon, right? This is a sport. So luckily with the rock crawler suspension, it came with a uh, quick disconnect. Off of there. So there poor, we go. Poor man's hammer. <laughs> yeah, poor man's hammer. Speaking of the Jeep Gladiator, this is officially our first ever shakedown run yeah. for the foster child. This We've never had it off-road before, so we're shaking it down before we go do a probably two-week overlanding trip on the Peace Trail in Arizona. And uh, we're just gonna see how it is, feel it out. We've got a few more things we need to do to fully prep it before we actually hit the main trail, but we figured today and tomorrow should be a good time to just test it out and see how she does for now. Now again, guys, this Gladiator is being given away in October, and you have to be an E3 off-road member in order to be entered to win. Now, if you're not already part of our premium membership, you can head on over to e3offroad.com to sign up and join the family. We're dropping new content every single month from lessons and courses to podcasts, webinars, magazine issues, everything you could possibly imagine. Huge discounts in the industry as well. Also, a lot of discounts on parts. that the foster child has ever climbed. And I'm actually curious just to see like how close the tailgate gets, what our approach angle is. The dimensions and the, oh look, it's not even close. No? Well, no, on the other side, you're 
kind of close over there, just a teensy bit. But yeah, I mean, you're good. That's pretty solid. This sport transfer case sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a sport, so it doesn't have the four to one transfer case that a Rubicon would. What is it like a two point seven? Two point seven to one or two point seven to one, one or something like that. Up. It's definitely not as low of a ratio transfer case as the uh, stepchild. But guys. Our first rock climb! <laughs> it's so dumb, especially if you know how stupid of things that we attempt and do in the stepchild that like, but hey, it's like starting from scratch again with another stock beagle. It's really exciting to see what it's capable of and I'm sure eventually we'll find out what it's, you know, not capable of. All right, you guys, so we can go that way or we're gonna go that way, which we're gonna go up to the left because why not? It's not like it's my Jeep. Because it's not like it's my Jeep. <laughs> it's so close. Yep, perfect. Just, oh God, this makes me so nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. All right, go slow here. Here you go. Slow. Oh, oh my God. Uh, barely. Yeah. Obviously the sport fenders are no good, so we're gonna have to go Rubicon or maybe just chop these and I kinda know a guy. We kinda maybe know a guy. <laughs> so I'm airing down the tire since it's under the vehicle. It's gonna be the first thing to hit a rock or catch and you don't want a ton of air in here because that's how you're gonna like tear it open and cut a sidewall. So I'm airing down the tire completely so that way if it ever does hit a rock, it'll just fold in and not have any issue at all. Make it nice and pliable. So Kevin unsurprisingly has decided to attempt going down this, which wheelbase wise, like that's, it's pretty easy, but the issue is going to be our breakover angle, the sliders, and then coming off of it, obviously the truck bed. Um, I feel as though this is a terrible idea. Oh God. Uh, state. Hey, I don't know. Britt, will you spot from down there so I can get the side shot? Oh God. There you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's not. You're also got a lot of weight. Kevin's like, I'm out of brake. That's not good. Oh God. It's also super slippery, Kev. You are getting. You're good. You still got like three inches before you hit slider. Oh, you're, I think you'll, you're going to miss it. You're not going to rub slider. Oh God, it's so windy. <laughs> Friggin' wind out here is brutal. Uh, you need to start going, yeah, passenger. capable as a gladiator with a three inch lift on 37s. I mean, here, I mean, it's, it's not a, that wasn't a little wall. I mean, you know, you just got to pick the right line. The biggest thing is picking the right line and we're super heavy right now too. All right. So it turns out, I mean, it's not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean the wheelbase, it's, it, it's a pro and con. It's a big pro and a big con at the same time. Yeah. Basically, the, the pro is by the time your rear tires are climbing, your front tires are already at the top of the obstacle. Like, you're already halfway done. <laughs> right. So, it's less scary because you're you're climbing and your front's already up and over and you don't feel sketchy. You don't feel like you're going to flip back. It's super stable. But 
at the but same time, you have to watch, yeah. really, really watch your breakover and your... And your departure angle, obviously. Um, but, I mean, we just showed you it's fully capable of climbing some stuff without touching anything. The only thing is you have to be really conscientious of your line. And it's a totally different line that you would take typically than with, say, the stepchild or something that has a lot more clearance or a lot shorter of a wheelbase. run and we have already failed miserably because remember this is a shakedown run for our supposedly two-week overlanding trip and what did we forget to get before the trail we're not overlanding yet though water guys no water <laughs> no water on the trip this? the water that i stole out of brit's brit's jeep yeah, because they came prepared because they know what they're doing. We have kids. We didn't have any water. Uh, we also don't, well, we have our mountain house meals, I guess, food wise, but we don't have any other snacks or anything. We literally brought nothing. The whole bed <laughs> is filled of stuff. Just we need to go get water. I know the story of your life. is a three-parter three parts three parts one trail the second trail which we are now which happens to be a badge of honor trail another jeep badge of honor trail for us to <laughs> knock <laughs> off of our list and from there part three is going to be tonight camping in the tent the rooftop tent for the very first time ever but before we do that the badge of honor trail schnebly hill i have no idea if i'm pronouncing that right but i'm assuming i am God, why do you have these 24 PSI I know, the I need tires. to air down this more. Like I know. Bead locks, this guy's at 24 PSI. Um, Schnebly Hill so far is, is, it's literally just a super duper duper rocky road. Rocky road? I, I, I'm going to air down a little bit. I didn't know this road was going to be so bumpy. I'm at like 24 <laughs> PSI. So let me pull over for a second and let some, let some air out. So far, super easy. Yeah, about as bumpy as it can get. Yeah, easy enough that poor Jelly Belly here is attempting to take a nap. But the rockiness is kind of keeping her from doing so. But yeah, it does pretty well. We've got the sway bar disconnected. It's at no point so far have I felt like it couldn't accomplish something other than fear of hanging up on something. Breakover angle, departure angle, approach angle. But other than that, this gladiator is pretty rad so far. Never a dull day, so on our way down Schnebly Hill, we came across that. So between Britt and us, uh, we we should be equipped enough to help get him out and recover this guy before we, yeah, that's bad. So this is definitely what you would call a precarious situation. That's perfect. We're close. There you go. Keep coming. Oh. Yeah, 
There you go, stay hard driver. Yep. Perfect. Good job. All right. So, Dirt road. I handed Kevin a soft shackle and oh, he that. set it down and then he lost it. And it is apparently both of our faults because I'm the one that handed it to him in the first place. While I was busy doing I other things. I need y'all's opinion in the comments section below. Am I at fault for handing Kevin the soft shackle While, and him losing it? While I was busy doing other you things. You weren't busy. You were walking with the doing, rest of the recovery with, kit. So I right. gave it to you because you had all of the recovery gear. I, right. I wasn't paying attention he to you. He set the recovery back down. Had, and he set the soft you, shackle down, and then he lost the soft shackle. You can't tell part of the story. And he said it's my fault also because I'm the one that gave it to him, and I should know better because he's ADD and he loses things. Yeah, I was, and you know this. <laughs> so I am already have, like, something going on in my mind. I'm already got the, the recovery case, and she just, like, here, and I didn't need, it wasn't what I wanted or needed. So. <laughs> Like, you lost it and it's my fault. So I like, I don't know what I did with that. I put it down. I don't know. But you know I have ADD. I want y'all's thoughts. You know I have ADD and I in already, the comments I was below. already focused on my thing and you just like shoved this thing onto me. <sighs> I win. <sighs> Whatever that is. Actually, we both lose. Because now we have to I didn't know we did because we both lose. <laughs> wait, wait, you lost going? the sound check. What did you just say? I said I already have a child. You're talking about me, right? Yes. See, I win the argument then. You don't hand a child something oh and not expect them to lose oh it. Yeah. God. So she just lost the argument. Winner, winner. So. Winner, winner. All right, we're done. So if you we're give done. a child something and they we're lose done. it, whose fault is it? Really, really. All right, so phase one shakedown run done. Phase two, badge of honor trail done. Phase three, setting up camp for the evening. Guys, this is going to be our first time ever officially setting up the full tent with the intent but I'm of actually sleeping in it Ta-da! It's 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 up and in perfect timing because it is about to be dark, dark, and we are no longer be able to film after that, at least not good quality footage. It's all grainy as it is, I can see Yeah, it. which means that you're gonna have to wait to see how tonight ends up going in the next video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Lightbright Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com. You're not wearing the right shirt. All of your Lightbright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com. And of course, don't forget about e3offroad.com and you can, entering. Where you can win this to win this bad boy right here. Guys, we love you so much, and we will see you next time. Bye. You gotta drive it. Drive it. Steering wheel. Steering wheel. Steering wheel. You say air conditioning? Uh, Air conditioning? Uh, that's it. Close enough. Oh god, don't turn yeah. it to 80 degrees. That's way no. too hot. <laughs> now quit it. We're in Las Vegas. It's too hot already. Uh, oh, windshield wipers. Can you say vroom vroom? Vroom 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 vroom.